do you often give recommendations for or against certain platforms based on the type of business? Or is there one that seems to be taking all the potential and is where you should recommend people to focus on? Yeah, it really depends on the business, what they're trying to achieve. And I would say it depends more on kind of the mindset, the type of stories they want to tell, the time that they have to put into it. So, you know, TikTok's probably one of the fastest growing ones out there. Instagram Reels is is really successful as well. Uh, now, there's a clear delineation between when you look at like a TikTok, Instagram Reels, and like a YouTube. So YouTube is longer form content. So it's the average video is 10 to 15 minutes versus TikTok, Instagram Reels is, you know, 60 to 90 seconds. So obviously the time commitment to create a single piece of content, the bar is lower. Um, when you hit it, the numbers are bigger. However, the, the delineating factor between that and YouTube is, you know, it's harder to produce that content because it's longer form typically lower view count, but there's a trade-off in that on YouTube, people are spending more time and energy with your brand, with your content, because they're spending five, 10, 15 minutes with your brand versus, you know, 30 to 60 seconds. So kind of a view and a subscriber on YouTube is probably 10 X more valuable than on a TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. But again, it doesn't mean that mastering you know, short form content platform isn't valuable. So I just say that if you master any one of these platforms and you really scale it, you're going to be in a really good position. You don't need to master every platform. It's just, I kind of look at it from more of a mindset perspective of like, what, how much content do they want to produce? Are they really interested in spending a few weeks on a single piece of content or do they want to, to have more frequency with it? You know, what really excites them? What platforms do they use? What platforms do they love? Because that's a contributing factor as well. Um, so those are just some of the kind of the considerations in terms of helping a client make that decision. But I, I'll never say, oh, it has to be TikTok because TikTok is the hottest thing. I just don't, mm. you know, all these platforms are so big that if you master one of them, you will ultimately find, you know, the success and growth that you're looking for. I, I have a an interesting question for me, and it's almost like a, a moral dilemma that I I think I know where I stand, but I could see where I could be justified as well. So I'd be curious for you, since the, your business is helping people get you know big followings and getting a lot of reach. But you know, if I have an important message to send out there, and uh, I want to be able to get some big brand deals, I want to be able to do some partnerships with big people, uh, and I know one of the biggest things to help me get my message out is the concept of social proof. So like if I'm somebody with 100 followers on Instagram, doesn't look too good. But if I have a couple million, it, people will look more than the three seconds they, they might have allowed me. I'd be curious to know what is your thoughts on the fact that there's so many ways people go out there and they just go and buy so many followers. They go buy fake views, fake comments, fake watches, like, so they can engineer a social media profile that looks huge. And once they've done that, it's actually opened some doors for them. And then for me, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, no, that's definitely wrong. Uh, but then I'm like, oh my God, but if your purpose is so clearly defined and this is the way to get you to reach more people as fast as possible, maybe I'm being over judgmental. I don't know. I, I'd be curious to know your opinion on that. Well, I think I want to make a delineation because there's a big difference between buying fake followers, views and comments versus using campaigns to grow an audience. I'm not well versed in terms of where the world is in terms of fake, buying fake followers, views and comments. I would assume that at this point, the platforms have become really wise to that and have caught on to a majority of it. And if they haven't, I would assume that they will catch on. So I don't advise doing anything as it pertains to fake followers, fake views, fake comments. As it pertains to doing strategic advertising campaigns or campaigns to put your content in front of people to grow an audience, I would say that heavily, the success or failure of that is heavily predicated on your ability to maximize producing content 
that gets reach and distribution in the algorithms. Because let's just say tomorrow you were given a million followers and those million followers were real people. They may or may not know why they've opted into you. The only value of that audience is your ability to produce content that can reach that audience and beyond. So if you are an effective content creator and talking about kind of all the things that we've talked about um, in the conversation previously, then you will maximize the value and potential of that audience. If you haven't mastered those principles, then you're not necessarily going to reach that audience. So, so that's kind of the way that, that I see it. And it's also kind of, you mentioned in a different way is like, let's say that you were again, given that million followers tomorrow and those people were real and they may or may not know why they've opted into you. And because of that, you get on a big podcast or you get on a big stage. Now, are you an effective communicator when you get on that stage or on that podcast? Because again, that comes down to, are you maximizing that the opportunity that that presents? Some people will absolutely kill it and they become, they blow up because they get on a big podcast and their information is so valued. They're such an effective communicator or they get on stage and it, and it, that opportunity leads to 20 opportunities and their brand keeps growing and growing and growing versus the person that isn't prepared for that, doesn't have that value, kind of they blow it and it doesn't support them. So that's kind of the way that I look at it. I don't believe or recommend doing anything fake in terms of followers, views, or comments. I'm obviously a huge believer in advertising and creating you know, advertising campaigns that can fuel growth if you can maximize the results of that. Um, you know, I have a background in film and in advertising, and we still explore how you use paid advertising opportunities to fuel organic growth and and vice versa. So it's really kind of from a a long term perspective of how and why are you doing it, and are you actually ready to maximize the value of kind of pursuing that path? If that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense and I couldn't agree more. And uh, I think that's one thing that I've really appreciated from your your first book about 1 million followers is this understanding that you should be using the advertising tools that kind of, uh, I don't know if I'm, I guess the best expression here would be to kind of throw gasoline on a good fire, but you know, gasoline on a bad fire burns down a house. And so we have to understand that there is some strategic advantages to using it as long as we know that what we're doing makes sense and we've grown to the space to be able to deliver and receive what opportunities are going to come on the other end. 